temperature. It's already crazy high right out of the box. We want to send it back to the retailer before we get caught up into some kind of warranty flim flam bullshit. At idle, it should be between 30 to 50 Celsius, low 50s, not depending on your ambient temperatures and your case airflow. 30s to 40s would be more acceptable. Number two, negotiated link speed that should match the manufacturer's specifications. That's going to be limited by the link speed of the port that you currently have the drive connected to. So you want to make sure that you have the drive connected to a port that's operating at its full capacity. The next thing we want to check is the smart values because smart values are accumulated as the drive is in operation. And since it's probably just been sitting on a warehouse shelf, the smart data is going to be very limited here. Check for any firmware updates. As your drives were afflicted by a firmware issue that some system owners were attributing to burning out their drive prematurely. So you you want to go to their website put in your serial number and make sure there's no upgrades for your drive and then the fifth thing we want to do is a surface read and write test expose any weak sectors on the drive 